What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, got a couple things to talk about today and uh, unfortunately neither one of them are uh, really that great. Um, so I, first, thing, first things first, uh, this brake upgrade uh, to the Brembos has been an absolute nightmare. Um, I think I've gone through uh, three sets of bolts now uh, trying to figure that out. Uh, I did actually finally, you know, take the Brembo, take one of the calipers, two loads, uh, was able to find a bolt that threads and is the correct length and everything worked out there. Um, so if we bring you over to the car real quick, you'll see I was I was able to get one side fully complete. So everything is swapped out on this side. Let's see if you can get back in here. You'll see brake lines done. Everything's good. Pads on, calipers on everything rotors on everything looks good now if you come over to the other side we're still on the oem calipers rotors brake lines so obviously got a little stuck there so what happened was as i was i got the one side done no issues after i found the bolts you know, $170 almost later in searching for bolts. I finally found bolts. Got that side done, knocked out. The other side at this point had been sitting in uh, PB Blaster, WD-40, and I think that was all I had, or brake clean uh, for penetrating oils. You know, had all of that sprayed on there, uh, on the brake lines, uh, fittings, and uh, on all the bolts. I needed one bolt, one fitting, or one, yeah, one bolt to break loose, and I would have been done with this project, or I'd have been able to swap everything else over onto the car. The flare nut fitting for the hard brake line into the two, into the, uh, the rubber brake lines is, was that last nut that I needed to come off. So I had flare wrenches, that's what I went with first, threw the 10 mil on there, cranked it, and obviously it wasn't breaking loose. Um, you know, I pushed as hard as I can on it to get it to break loose. And as I'm doing that, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, please, please don't strip, please don't strip, please don't strip. Like I'm cranking like all, almost all my weight on this at this point. And sure enough, yeah, I, I should have known better than just keep cranking on it like that. It stripped it. Um, so, you know, next course action, grab, grab the vice grip, vice grips, you know, lock, threw my locking vice grips on there, tried cranking it with that, you know, just kept, just kept stripping it more and more. Uh, finally, I grabbed the torch, tried to try to heat it up a little bit with the vice grips on there. Uh, still wouldn't, still is not budging. So that thing is just, absolutely rusted down so now i need a new brake i need a new brake hard line or at least i need to i need to get the fitting spliced and put a new fitting on there um i don't trust myself to do that work uh i'd rather take it to a shop have it professionally done not have to worry about whether or not i got a good good seal on the fittings um and not have to worry about my brake lines leaking in the future so there is luckily a shop local to me in Oceanside uh, that I should be able to take it to uh, this week. Uh, I'm gonna call tomorrow um, on Monday. Uh, you'll be a day behind us. So I'm gonna call on Monday, um, you know, see if I can see when I can get the car in, uh, see, let them know what the, what the deal is with it. I'll probably have to tow the car over there cause I do have mismatching brakes on there right now. Um, and I don't, I don't want to jack up a new set of Brembo's pads and calipers, like, or I'm sorry, pads and rotors. Like I don't want to, I don't want to mess those rotors and pads up by, you know, having too much braking force on one side versus the other. So I'll probably throw it on a tow truck, get it over there. Or if, if I can't get it towed over there, I'll just have to limp it like 15 miles an hour limping it over there. Um, it's like, I think the shop's like 10 miles away from my house. So I should be able to, just should be able to limp it over there if I need to. 
Uh, I'd rather just throw on a tow truck. If I can get a tow for free, I will. Um, do my insurance. I should be able to do that. Uh, but yeah, that's, so that's the nightmare that is in this brake upgrade right now. Once I get that brake line fixed, once I get a new fitting on there, I should be able to, you know, continue with the rest of the upgrade and everything should be good on that. Um, topic number two is, uh, well, it's a little, little, little weird. So with the whole coronavirus thing going on right now, obviously, you know, making content is going to be a little scarce. Uh, I can't go driving or I'm not supposed to be driving. I'm in California. So whole state is on a stay home type lockdown thing, shelter in place, I think is what the governor used. Um, so technically not supposed to be out driving. Uh, there's no racetracks open. No one's doing car meets and I'm not supposed to be driving unless I'm going to like the grocery store to work and work is having me telework. So I don't even have to go to work. Uh, so I obviously creating car te car content is going to be a little difficult. And at this point, and I'm not going to just produce videos with no substance. Um, basically if I don't, if I don't have something going on that's video worthy, I'm just, we're not going to, I just won't have a video for that week um, until this whole thing blows over whenever that is. Um, kind of sucks, but I'm not gonna, I don't see a point in making videos if there's no substance to the video. And I, I don't wanna make, I don't wanna make videos just to make videos. Um, this one obviously has a little substance to it, you know, giving you guys a little update on the whole break situation and how much of a pain in the ass that's turned into. Um, you know, as a working on cars, you know, it's bound to happen. You're bound to strip something, bound to break something. Uh, you think an hour job, a job's gonna take an hour, turns out taking a few days because you can't find parts or break a part, it's hard to find. Which by the way, those break hard, those hard brake lines, steel hard brake lines are a discontinued part. So I can't even buy, I can't even buy the brake line. I have to either get it spliced, like the shop I'm taking it to is either gonna have to splice in a new fitting or they're gonna have to bend a line for me, like custom bend a line in for me. And unfortunately with that, with this, uh, with the G8, that driver's side brake line runs across the car to the ABS module is on the other side, is on the passenger side of the engine bay. So yeah, it's just gonna, it's just turning into a nightmare on that. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll see. Maybe the restrictions will get a little, little, little less restrictive and I'll be able to, you know, go out and start driving again. Um, cause I still do want to get the, uh, Angeles Crest drive done. Um, have a few other, you know, Canyon drives that I want to do, but for now, uh, unless I, you know, decide to go out and just, you know, test the waters and see how, see how it goes. I've heard they're giving out misdemeanor charges. I haven't heard anyone getting charged yet. So, you know, maybe, maybe next weekend, if I still haven't heard anything and the car's up and good, you know, I'll take the car out and see how, see what it does, but see what happens. Um, but for now, all we're going to get to do is garage or driveway starts and some driveway revs. So I do need to pull the car back in the driveway or back in the garage because I was out mowing the yard. Um, so I need to put the car back. So go ahead and start it up. Let it run for a little bit because she didn't start yesterday. And I mean, she hasn't been, she's been down since Thursday. So. I'll let it run for a little bit warmer up and give you guys a couple rubs. That's all I got for you this week. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.